Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you are here and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Christy and I post lifestyle content like decorate with me's, clean with me's, motherhood, military spouse, and more. If you are interested in any of these topics, please hit that red subscribe button and become part of the Has fam. We would love to have you here. So I did take down my Christmas tree a few days ago, but I still needed to get down all the Christmas decor. So today my kids went back to school and I took that opportunity to really get my house back in order. I sewed up some new pillow covers and I was so excited to put them on my pillows. I do have a tutorial for that and I will put it up on the screen and also in the description if you are curious super easy and beginner friendly so the cream colored pillow case is from Amazon and I will have that linked in the description down below and the gray plaid is a pillow case I sewed up the fabric is from Hobby Lobby and the yellow pillow case is from Ikea I feel like you gotta really beat up your pillows to make them look nice and full and fluffy. I like karate chop them and fluff them up and just really shake them to get them really, really fluffy. This pillow is from Kirkland's. I use the pillow insert for other pillows. I'm just putting the case back on it. Um, it. It is from Kirkland's. And this is how I store my pillow covers. I use Ziploc bags and I just stick them in there. I feel like it keeps the bugs and dirt and grime away from them. And then I just save them for next year. So now I'm gonna work on my coffee table. I'm just gonna take all the Christmas stuff off and put in the box and just give it a good wipe down. The same with my table covers. I store them the same as the pillow cases. I just stick them in Ziploc bags and just save them for next year. I feel like it's the easiest and quickest way to just organize and store your cloth or fabric items. I love putting uh, table runners on my coffee table, but they're usually too long, so I just fold them under and put them to size that I want, and it works out perfectly. So this table runner I got at TJ Maxx, and I'm just gonna be using this metal platter, the metal platter I always use. It's from Kirkland's, and I'm just gonna be putting back my springy, summery florals. I know it's not spring, and I know it's not summer, but I like the pink because it kinda goes with February as well for Valentine's Day. So I'm just giving everything a quick wipe down and just putting my little sign up with my candle, and it is good to go. So now we're headed into the dining room table. I'm gonna be taking all the Christmas stuff off and just putting back my simple decor. I'm gonna be storing my table runner with the other table runner in the Ziploc bag and I'm gonna wipe down the table real quick because it was still sticky from this morning. Um, the table, I did get a new table runner from TJ Maxx, it was on clearance and I love the cream and the gray in it and the frayed edges just makes it super super cute so i'm gonna be using my white tray that i always use it's from kirkland's and i'm using this vase i got from hobby lobby and the greenery is also from hobby lobby and i'm just stuffing it in there and then my coasters are from ikea my utensil holder is from kirkland's and my salt and pepper shaker are from tj maxx super simple and clean i love the way it turned out i just love it to look simple and easy i'm gonna be taking off my banner and that is it for this room it is good to go So now I'm going to be heading to the bookshelf. I'm going to be cleaning it up. It was super dusty, but I found this um, concrete rooster and it was on clearance because it was broken from its base, but I just glued it back together and it's good as new and I paid $3 for it and I just love it so much. And I don't know what it is, but I like to decorate in threes. So I got these three white vases and three greenery florals from ikea um a few like a year ago and i love them so much i just stuff paper in them to um, fit the greenery nicely in there and i fluff it up and it's good to go um i'm gonna be putting my nativity set away i 
recommend that you save your boxes from with for glass items because it's so easy to put back into its box and just put it into the holiday um your holiday bin and just throw it in the garage it works perfectly and it, i love it because it's super super easy and it won't break you know because it's in, a, in in its original package so it works out so i had trouble with this area but i finally figured it out i'm going to keep the cake stand and i found this little like heart house from hobby lobby and i just love the way it looked i feel like it goes good with february and this box my mother-in-law gave to me and i'm gonna put positive notes every day and at the end of the year we'll read it out loud and i'm so excited about it Now I'm going to start in the entryway and I'm just going to clean everything off. I love to have it super simple so that I can add the banners throughout the holidays. I'm going to put my lamp back in its original spot. The tree didn't reach the plug so I had to switch it but I'm going to switch it back. And this tier, my sister found it for me at Sam's and I love it. I've been wanting one so bad. I haven't filled it up with things. Let me know what I should fill it up with. I feel like I'm not good at that part um i love the ones i've seen on pinterest super super cute i'm gonna be taking off my banner and i'm gonna take off my merry christmas sign and then i'm just gonna put another sign that i've had for years from hobby lobby up there just to add something up there because i feel like it was missing something and that is it for this area it's gonna be super clean and simple this is where all my hard work comes to play okay guys i take off the wreath and i'm gonna remove this arch or window pane from this wall and put it on my other wall first of all i put that window pane up crooked it looked crooked to me the whole time i would see it i'm like man i really messed this up so i'm gonna redeem myself and put it on this wall and then i'm gonna put my picture frame on the other side i just had to take it off because it would it wouldn't fit nicely together let me just say it is hard to put things up like artwork or picture frames on walls without someone else telling you if it's like straight or crooked or anything. I used the level but I really lucked out because it was hard when I first put these up to get them up just on my own. So I really am proud of this area. I use I got this wreath from Hobby Lobby in the clearance section and I just love the way it looks up on that window pane. It looks so nice. So I'm going to move the our nest sign to the, the other window where the arch was. And then I found these like windowed mirrors at TJ Maxx for $14.99 and I bought two matching ones and I thought they would look really nice. Um, on the sides of that sign and that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i gave you ideas for your house i just love the way my house turned out and i'm super proud of it i hope you enjoyed this video and i will catch you guys in the next one Bye bye